Hello and welcome back to another episode of Forts and I am looking forward to having an exciting episode here because well we're going to be doing a bit of a missile rush if you guys aren't familiar there is these weapons called the EMPs and they do horrible things to opponents so to assist with that we're going to be doing kind of a live action build order guide, more or less, like we've been doing with the previous rushes. Uh, the difference is this one is designed to be absolutely brutal and infuriating. Uh, it usually results in players being salty and enraged because, well, it's, uh, it's kind of infuriating to play against. It works really, really well in 1v1s, but not so well in anything else. But we're going to try it out in 2v2s to see if we can manage to pull it off. Now, typically, I like being the forward base for this. This isn't something I'd usually do up here. Um, I have to kind of like redesign the base a little bit to get that to work. So um, now that I got to think about how to do this. All right, so let's go ahead and try this. Like so should give us a decent place if I could build it there. And I'll have to go further out actually. So this is going to be a little bit delayed in order to get a decent setup. But this will be fine. It will function. It's just going to weigh a lot, and our base is going to be morphed. But it'll be okay. Uh, one thing about EMPs is, as much as rushing them is fun, uh, you, you can't just straight rush them, because you need energy production, and a lot of it. So you got to be real careful about doing that one. But this should have a setup with a decent amount of EMPs. Go. We want it here. And here, and right here. Yeah, we're already starved for power. We haven't even started firing these guys yet. I should give you an idea as just how starved for power these things will give you. It's kind of a lot. Like, it's relentless kind of a lot. Okay. We are really leaning forward here, and that's concerning. I'm going to delete this real quick to pull us back a little bit. Help. There we go. And then do one of these to lean us real far back. There we are. There we go. Let's reconnect you. And then reconnect you. There we are. A little bit of weight management example for you guys. And that should help keep us from leaning too far forward. Much better. Okay, so now we have these EMPs out ready to go. I usually like to put a door on a couple of them. Just to keep us from totally losing our investment, because a sniper is the one thing that will get rid of this real quick. And frankly, it's not that fast of a rush. If you notice, we're at three minutes. And the idea here is to stop whatever rush they're doing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't you worry. Uh, I will absolutely follow you if I get shot. All right. And let's go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. And ow, let's go. Now, we don't want to fire all three of these at once. We want it to be one at a time. In fact, let me go ahead and hotkey them separately. Yeah, this is one of the reasons why you don't don't do this on a 2v2 map because they have multiple gunners to start with. And now he's going to be locked down for a long while. Now that we've got that going, let's start the upgrade center and feed off of our power to keep him locked down while we slowly tech our way up to keeping him there forever. Isn't that fun? better. Once we get enough metal for an additional door, we'll be putting it on our sniper and bringing him to bear. Right, come on. Come on. 275. Much better. Now it looks like his teammate is coming in for the assist, which is what he should do, and the primary reason this doesn't work out so well is EMPs, for as fun as they are, don't lock down multiple players very well. Uh, we're getting kind of lucky that these gunners aren't actually shutting down any of these. Which is really a disappointment on the gunner's spot, but it looks like we finally got one of them. So let's go ahead and start bringing his gunners down. And I should even the odds a little. By even the odds, I mean make them horrifically unbalanced in our favor. Because that poor dude... We're hitting his core, which means his energy production is just gone. And where's that gunner? Right there? A little bit lower? Make that go away, please. Thank you. Very good. Now we can start the upgrade process. Oh, look. His gunner's back online. That's unfortunate. Gonna have to remove him. 
Hey, he finally completed his technology. Oh, teammate almost got it. Both going for the same thing. But he's trying to build flak right now. Unfortunately, his flak is EMP'd and now gone. No, oh, teammate actually snipes that machine gunner. So now there's nothing left here but death for him. And we're starting to float metal, which is time to get more things. We'll slowly ramp ourselves up in damage. As we now have additional weapons available to us. And by weapons, I mean uh, rockets. We're, we're going to be firing upgraded EMPs at him next, which just do damage. And if my teammate, or if I was rather in the bottom base, I would also be building additional rockets here, but I can't really fire at other bases with additional rockets because the uh, positioning. My teammate's between me and the enemy, which is unfortunate. So I'll just keep going. Now, he's, he's running out of energy. He's running out of time. And he's getting flak up, but I have a sniper up here. I'm just going to hang on this. Blow that up. There we go. Fire this out, and then fire this one. His teammate's coming in to help again. It's, uh, good luck with that. Oh, here comes the cannon. Good thing we build defenses. So while we've done a number of pretty much stopping his, the first base dead in his tracks, the, f the second base is coming in pretty clutch with actually having weapons and the ability to fire back. So I need to stop that from being a thing. And we really need to ramp up the damage here. Oh dear, am I? Oh, that took out two of my rockets at once. That's real bad. That's uh, pretty much game ending. So the problem that happened there was I didn't, uh, shall we say, spend my metal. I did the one thing that I tell you guys never to do, which is float metal. And this is why you don't float metal, because I had the option of building the door and then didn't build the door. So that's really my bad. Alright, so where did that cannon? That cannon's right there. Alright, the cannon's right there. Fire. Oh, I hit the door anyways. It's one hit on the cannon. Not gonna be enough. He's, he's double doored that. Okay, so now I've really gotta work my way up here. So I'm gonna put more launchers up here because we are definitely sticking with this theme. Uh, typically you'd want to transition out but I don't I don't feel like doing that. I, I want to stick to the theme of building more and more cannons. I uh, need to have an energy shield here now because we have cannons out ready to go. Definitely need another battery. Let's fire this rocket. He's got more gunners. He's got a single gunner. He has no gunners. Come on. Come on. Get the cannon. It's one hit. It's two hits, and not enough. I right, just go ahead and keep this going. Put some more EMPs down. Here and here and oh no, it's not not wide enough. Okay, teammate has gotten out a cannon of his own. Sounds like, which is very very good. For me, at least for this team. There we go. Cover all that up. Put next EMP down. Keep these guys a little bit safer. And let's go. Take out his cannon. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, that'll do it. That's one hit. Ah, uh, he covered it up with wood. No, actually, he covered it with metal. But I like how bottom base still doesn't have things. It's just, this is how much damage that this does to a single base. I'll have to show this off in a 1v1 at some point. Although, 1v1s aren't very common anymore. Okay. Let's put you guys on two. Hockey, you on three. We'll keep this one guy here. Okay, well, he's gone. Good on, good on you, teammate. You sick it about the one time I get carried by my teammate. Alright, this should come in for pretty much the finish here. Getting hit by three rocket launchers at once, or rather three at all, is pretty much a game-ending sentence. Not because of the amount of damage it does. Because the resource costs. Uh, just the repair cost and the sheer amount of splash is enough to debilitate pretty much any economy, making it very difficult to come back from. So... 
this is this is why it's spirals out of control so so quickly is once you start getting hit by the EMPs it slows you down and once you start getting hit by the rockets you're just you're done and that's that's the end to round two and this time we're playing with different players on a different map so let's go ahead and see what kind of nonsense we can get to this time we'll be going for the same strategy we'll be using these EMPs and we'll be well locking down the opponents and then seeing if they can come back from it last match they were able to come back uh, they built machine gunners and uh, just eventually got a cannon or at least the team the teammate that wasn't being shot got a cannon and this time we are fully able to use the entirety of our base to suppress the enemy now hopefully we won't have to do too much too much more damage here uh let's just go ahead and work on our technology next we get this going remember it's uh, this isn't the fastest rush it's a, a kind of a slow hard-hitting rush that ramps up in damage fairly quickly so let's go ahead and prevent some of the lean we had last time like going like this, not that we're going to have nearly as much lean this time. Pull out our boxes like so. And we can put our EMPs right in there. In fact, let's go ahead and sell this off. Move this back to get it out of the way. Much better. This up. And then we can start putting down our EMPs and slowly work their way to making more pain and destruction for them. Uh, turbines over here, uh, quick, cheap, and easy. Not usually great for defense. I usually don't like putting more than one turbine there because it's so easy to blow up from that position. But we'll see if my opponent or teammate gets punished for them. Let's see if my opponents punish my teammate for putting them there. It's really quite easy because they're exposed and there's no real way to defend them nicely. All right, so EMPs are going down. You want one right here, here, and here. Uh, notice the one in the back will lose a lot of its field of view, but that's okay because our target is straight across. It doesn't need much field of view. We do lose a little bit of armor here. Uh, it is possible to slide this forward a few pixels and get this one in the back. Um, I, I misclicked there and don't want to sell it because that's losing resources and time. Resources and time are important, and frankly, if they manage to survive this, I don't really have a whole lot of transition out of it anyways, so we're kind of like all in on EMPs. Next up, we do want to be getting more turbines. Just as you guys saw, energy is pretty key here. Because these, these EMPs are extremely, extremely power hungry. So it'll be good. Let's go ahead and get these doors going. Add a little bit more wood across the front. All background bracing because we don't want them to see where our guns are. Put this here and this right here. And this should keep these relatively safe, at least for the moment. Alright, we are good. Let's get this going. Put you on one, put you on two, and then put you on three. Open this up. Let's go. First target. Time to get wrecked. And don't get my EMP, no. It's fine. We start working our way up to bigger and better things. Now I do want to stagger fire these. Because in doing so, we can extend the duration of the EMP effect. Keeping the lockdown at full, full power. Let's go ahead and do this. Like so. Next up, upgrade center. Don't get the gunners. Okay, so teammate is building a sniper, or building machine gunners. That means it's my cue to get sniper going. Oh, he's got a lot of gunners already. That's going to be a concern. Oh, yeah. I don't know how those EMPs are making it across. Welcome to forts. But we are keeping the lockdown pretty heavy here. Oh, jeez. I built that sniper way out in the open because I was kind of hoping that he wouldn't get shot, but he is getting shot. So before he, I lose my sniper, I'm going to go ahead and clear these gunners out. Fire this guy. Go back to clearing gunners out. 
Oh dear. Oh, you're building energy shields. That's a great idea. I'm floating resources. No, why am I like this? I do this every time. Well, not every time, but more often than I'd like. Alright, now you're building gunners, which I don't know what you can expect to do with those when they're all EMP'd. Because there's no because I'm not letting you get out of this EMP chain, that's for sure. There we go. Let's go ahead and do that for the build speed. Let's upgrade you. Oh, we don't have the upgrade center yet. Almost. I was supposed to build the upgrade center earlier, so I don't have to deal with that. Have the sniper going. Resources are being wasted. Let's go ahead and put this here. Get these guys away from my turbines. You can tell how far behind I am. Because uh, I'm paying so much attention to firing and not actually doing what I'm supposed to do. Because I haven't even built defense on those on those guys yet, on those turbines yet. Like, what am I doing? This is a horrible example. But hey, you know, even done not ideally. It can work out. One less to worry about. Alright, time to upgrade these guys. Let's get all three of them going at once. Usually you want to only do one at a time because you only have the resources to do one at a time, but I failed to spend my resources, so I'm going to do all of them at the same time, which is unfortunate, but it also means that there's going to be a lot of damage coming out all at the same time. And if we can land all three shots, then uh, he's going to have a real, real bad time coming back from that. It's just the, the extremely wide splash that comes from these makes them uh, very difficult to come back from. It's just the resource expenditure. Yeah, he. I was. I did it so poorly that he was able to get out a cannon. Uh, he didn't put doors on it, so I was able to snipe the cannon. But unfortunately, his cannon took out one of my rockets. So I have to go ahead and put that back. Come on, build, please. Thank you. All right, let's go ahead and start working on bottom base. Then now that top base is lost, pretty much everything that makes him happy. Two and. Three gunners down. We're good. Put all these on the same hotkey and fire. There we go. Upgrade you. Alright, much better. Alright, now where did that cannon come from? That came from down below, it looked like. Gotta take these gunners out again. Waiting for that third rocket. Ah, oh, I'm not going to wait for the third rocket. I'm just going to fire. Get rid of these gunners. Is that at least something's going to make it through? Yeah, at least something made it through. Even better. Upgrade these. Fire again. They have nothing left. Nothing to stop the pain. Yeah, it's that's down there. Alright, teammate, you can do it. Now, my teammate selected the... Uh, commander we are and overrode my choice uh, but he doesn't seem to have taken advantage of the commander at all which makes me concerned as to why he selected it or at least makes me question why he selected it go ahead and fire this the next wave oh he's built another cannon no what have I done I've messed this one up so hard and sell this off I don't want that near my base all right let's let's do this Oh gosh, they're, they're full defending it too. I don't see me coming back from this one, guys. This one's going to be a rough one. Oh dear. Got to keep these down. Oh dear, oh my. Put it there. Oh dear, oh my. This is fine. Activate commander ability just to get that going. Uh, commander ability on this one, by the way, gives cheap repairs. So, that allows me to repair cheaply. Oh, that hit my teammate. Okay. I thought that hit me. Sounded like it hit me. Oh, he's got no gunners. Well, that's convenient. So now I could just drain all the hope and life out of the top base until he builds gunners again. Come on. Need to get these gunners down. Oh, yeah. Now we're starting to do some damage here. And, come on. Come on. Let's go ahead and upgrade you guys. Put doors on you while we wait. Come on. 
Come on, come on, come on, upgrade. Okay, we need so much more energy now. Alright, let's start working with these snipers while we wait for energy to return to us. Sounds like the cannon is back online. Oh, that's, a, that's metal. Okay, here comes another cannon shot. There it is. One less gunner out of you. Fire. Oh, why am I opening them? They're not ready. Alright. Time. Oh, dear. Right through the open door. Oh, good thing we built more of these guys. Because Lord knows we're going to need it. Alright, activate this just for the repair costs. He's got two cannons now? Alright. We really got to deal with this top base. He's becoming a pretty serious problem. Good thing bottom did not focus me as well, because that would have been... That would have been pretty much game ending. It looks like they're changing focus to bottom base, which I'm not sure is a good decision on their part. But, you know, we'll see what comes of it. Oh, no gunners. Take advantage time. Alright, so I'm going to work from the bottom to the top, adding additional doors. Looks like those cannons, those weapons did finally take out all of his. Who knew? Rockets do a ludicrous amount of damage. Yes. Is he selling? Or is he just not repaired yet? No, he, he it just did a lot of damage to him. And it's gone! The splash damage finishing him off. See, that's what we're supposed to have done a long time ago. It looks like Bottom has finally gotten more, uh... More of these flak. Which I think is much better. Ooh, okay. Ooh, there's the flak. Fortunately, flak takes a long time to reload, so I can fire these again. The flak won't be ready. There we go. Now I gotta find where that flak came from. Came from, like, right... Slightly above? Came from right there. There it is. There you go. Okay. Bring these a little bit lower. Oh, he tried to build those. Unfortunately, you need a couple of them. Okay. Now, he has no more cannons and such. I really don't have to worry too much. But I think... We're just going to fire everything in an alpha strike, and he's gone! Alright, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys want to see this enacted much more cleanly in a 1v1, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the little bell next to it, because I need to do this again and redeem myself, because this was a mess. But for now, have a good one, everyone, and I'll see you guys later.